Bailey Wind was a um, young lady who came to my diving camp. Bailey was one of those kids that came to camp that hit it off with everybody. From the first time I met her, just uh, really, really great attitude, very positive individual, and uh, just, just as hungry as or will get out to be as good as she could be in the sport of diving and whatever else she did in life. So when the time came to recruit her, I recruited her. Samantha was her host, and uh, so and they just hit it off right off the bat. I remember on a recruiting trip, her staying in the dorm with me, and she talked about Chris all the time and how much she loved him and how great he was and how their relationship was just the best thing that had ever happened to her. And I remember when she committed, we were all so excited, and I knew coming in that she was going to be my little sister. We, we really do have a very strong family atmosphere, and she just fit right in with that. Tragedy on the North Way. Bailey was with friends near Albany, New York. Four good kids having clean fun is how it was described when they were hit by a drunk, high, speeding, texting driver. We got hit from behind, skidded across three lanes, and then once we hit the medium, we flipped multiple times, and we hit the two trees roof first, and that's what stopped us. They thought there was only three victims, and they didn't know that I was in there. It was backed up. It was just like a traffic jam. And my younger daughter screamed, that's Chris's truck. I could only look at it once and I couldn't look at it again. It was horrifying. And I said, there's no way anyone is alive. And they searched in the trees for me and all over the grass where the car was. I was in the passenger seat. Chris was driving. Deanna was sitting behind Chris, and then Matt was sitting behind me. I slipped from underneath my seatbelt and was thrown under the SUV's dashboard, and it wrapped around me. The metal did like a cocoon, and they heard tapping, which was me kicking, and they used the jaws of life, and it took them over two hours to get me out. I do remember it, keep telling myself, this is just a dream, you're gonna wake up. I got a phone call uh, actually from her club coach. I was just numb, um, you know, just in complete, complete shock about the whole ordeal. And Dave called and I stepped outside and came back and I was hysterically crying and they were like, what's going on? Like, are you okay? And I was like, Bailey, like she's, she's not okay. The state trooper eventually came to the door and knocked on the door and asked, Dawn Wind and I said, is my daughter alive? And he said, please step out of the vehicle. He walked into the back of the car and he says, your daughter's alive. The first thing I remember was probably being in the hospital and seeing my family. One of the doctors actually told my parents that the reason I could stay in that cramped space in a fetal position for so long was because I was flexible from diving. I had neck surgery, so I have a titanium plate in my neck. I had jaw surgery. I probably had over 10 mouth surgeries. We waited like two or three days to tell her that Chris and Deanna had passed because we wanted her to get through her surgeries. That was hard because I thought I got, had a lot taken away, but. I, I'm lucky to be able to move today. So I actually signed my letter of intent at my high school a week before my accident happened. The driver of the other car took so much away from her. I'm like, there's no way I'm going to let him take this away from you too. I was scared to come here, I'm not going to lie, but I knew I would be in good hands with Dave Parrington and my team because they had been so supportive. Bailey and I are very close. There were just days that it was really tough and, and the, the sadness, you could, see, you could see the sadness from what she was recovering from, from the accident and everything else that came with that, but also the physical pain, trying to, trying to keep up with the team and do as much as she could every single day was, was really, really hard to, uh, for her to, to be able to handle it. Well, relearning how to dive was very extremely frustrating. I would get mad a lot. It was hard to watch, as you could tell that she was really trying, but it hurt. Being there for her, to support her, and, and her knowing that I, I was behind her every bit of the way and whatever she did, and for her to be able to come in and cry and say whatever she had to say to me on any given day, she knew that I would, I would be there for her. And... 
Because of her injury, she it, it really became got to the point where she couldn't do the diving, and, and when that happened, it was a huge lift off of her shoulders. And as far as supporting, um, you know, coming in and helping out the divers here and there, and being there every day has been been awesome for them just to see her. I'm just absolutely thankful to the University of Tennessee. Bailey couldn't have picked a better school. This is her life now. This is her family now. And I really don't think that she would have gotten as far as she has without being at University of Tennessee and Dave Harrington, her, her coach. This is my belief that God had me dive for all those years to ha save me and kind of lead me in a different direction. So I think he had me dive for that long, but had a different purpose for me in life. I coach little kids now, and I think that helps a lot because I still am in the diving world. She just wants to make a difference. I've probably spoken at over 25 high schools. It's so important to her and to our family to get that message out. And I tell you to the audience to have a plan in advance because this could all be you. You could be standing in my spot. Seeing that I've, I've touched so many people when they come up to me and cry or say, you've helped me in a lot of ways. Bailey is probably one of the most courageous people that I know to be able to take what she's been through, the accident that she had, and flip it around and use it as something to help other people. To see her continue to grow has been extremely exciting for me, and I know that when the time comes for her to graduate and move on, she's gonna continue to be a, an incredible uh, inspiration. She's doing that for them as well, using her voice as their voice. I'm proud of her. I am Bailey Wind, and this is my story.